Hi, in this video I am going to take a look at a pretty rare class of compounds called peroxides, or rather one particular peroxide which is rather easily prepared, calcium peroxide. To make calcium peroxide you need to react calcium hydroxide with hydrogen peroxide. This is possible in two ways. You can either use calcium hydroxide directly and react a suspension of that with hydrogen peroxide, or rather you start with a soluble calcium salt, like calcium chloride, and react with ammonia solution to prepare calcium hydroxide in situ. I chose the second method because I didn't have a pure source of calcium hydroxide on hand. To start off, I add 15 grams of calcium chloride dihydrate to an Erlenmeyer flask. This is followed by the addition of 85 grams of 6% hydrogen peroxide solution. This is then placed outside to cool down to about 2 degrees Celsius. To the now cooled reaction mix is added 39 grams of also pre-cooled 9% ammonia solution. Immediately you get a white precipitate and this is at first calcium hydroxide. This calcium hydroxide is now reacting with the hydrogen peroxide to form very insoluble calcium peroxide. This takes quite a while, so I let the flask sit outside in the cold to reduce decomposition and let the reaction proceed to completion. After 20 minutes I filter out the calcium peroxide, which has now some sort of a beige color to it, which comes uh, through very terribly on the camera actually. While filtering, a lot of bubbles are evolved, which is oxygen from the decomposition of excess peroxide and the reaction of calcium peroxide with water. The reaction of calcium peroxide with water actually also produces calcium hydroxide, which is an insoluble solid, which will also be present in our end product. The precipitate is washed and dried in air, which for me took about 4 days. In the end I was left with 3.84 grams of calcium peroxide, which is at most a 51% yield. Now for the test for peroxides, I add some of the material to a test tube and then add sulfuric acid to it. This should generate hydrogen peroxide and calcium sulfate. You can see immediate bubbling of the solution and this could be also contributed to some calcium carbonate which was generated during drying in air by the reaction of calcium hydroxide and CO2 gas. To test for the presence of oxygen I first insert a burning piece of wood and you can see that it immediately is extinguished, which solidifies my theory of the bubbling being CO2 gas. To release the oxygen from the solution we need to decompose the peroxide first and for that I add this black piece of manganese dioxide. Immediately oxygen is evolved and inserting a burning splinter it looks like it is not extinguished. Which is actually quite enough evidence for me that we indeed made calcium peroxide. Although the percentage of peroxide in this solid is not 100% by any means, but more like 80 to 85% due to decomposition while filtering. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more chemistry content. You can also go over to my Instagram account to check out behind the scenes stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.